Today, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, our efforts to build the spawn town have been slightly interrupted by the release of Minecraft 1.18. In light of this long-awaited update today, we're going to be doing some exploring of the new world generation and how it integrates with the old world and hopefully get to some building. So if you want to join me on this journey where I plan to build the most ambitious single-player survival world of all time, remember to hit that subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get right into it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the 1.18 update is finally here, and as you can see, I'm all geared up. It's not exactly standard for me to be wearing anything but my signature gold boots, but today, we're making an exception. You see, with the new update, I have made a big decision. A lot of you guys have said that it's sort of problematic that Ventia is so tropical, and the fact that we have a snow biome over here, so I went ahead and deleted all the chunks. Well, except for the fact that this ice right here remains from the chunks before, so this right here is all the new 1.18 chunk generation, and we got some new ones coming in, so we're gonna get some lag spikes here and there. So that really just means that we have to clean up this ice, and other than that, we're gonna have a way better looking world from here on out. But we're gonna have to be on cleanup duty way later. I've been flying around a little bit here just to load in a few chunks to not make it as laggy, but it is insane looking. So what I wanna do today is fly around and find some of the most awesome spots with the 1.18 generation and see where we wanna build our next base. So I think what we're gonna start off doing is just following the coastline here and see if we have something really cool close by. I mean, just stuff like this, it looks so much better than the old Minecraft generation. I'm so happy that they made this change. I mean, we do have some nice rivers here, but what I think I'm looking for is some huge elevation difference. I mean, this really isn't bad, is it, by the coast? I run through Alliums and Azure Bluets so fast, I'm just gonna collect every single one I can see. I mean, it's not the most mountainous jungle I've ever seen. I feel like they could do better. Wait, these azalea trees means that there's a lush cave underneath here, right? I wonder if that's true. I like that there's actually a a lot of rooted dirt here so that you can collect some for building. I mean, this hole is getting pretty deep right now. I wonder if this actually leads anywhere. And you know that thing I said about the rooted dirt? I mean, we're definitely getting a lot of rooted dirt, which I do not mind because rooted dirt is a very cool block to use for texturing. How deep does the rabbit hole go? It seems like we've actually found a cave here, but uh, you know, for the caves and cliffs update, this, uh, this isn't exactly impressing me right here. Okay, it looks like we got the opening to a lush cave right here. This is uh, a little bit scary. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm okay, guys. Yeah, we should maybe put that chest plate on. Okay, we definitely need to make this place a little bit safer. Like, they, there could definitely be guys dropping on us at any moment. I mean, I was looking for drip leaves, like, the entirety of the last update, not finding a single one, and now we can just get them. Not gonna lie, though, this is a pretty threatening environment, so, uh, what better to do than fly around in it? Oh my goodness, this is the type of caving that I've been waiting for. We also have an exit up there, which is excellent. Oh my goodness, there's layers to this. It's like Shrek. Okay, we got diamonds, diamonds spotted. We got a mission. Can we secure the diamonds? We got mobs over there, we got mobs everywhere. I don't believe they can see me at this range, so. Oh, we got mobs, we got mobs incoming. Okay, we can really run out of torches fast. <gasps> we got more diamonds. Oh, witch, okay. Yo, this is the coolest thing ever, and we got the spore blossoms. I need to collect those. Like, I need that in my life so bad. What if we just try to land on that pillar right there? Get you out of here. Okay, we've got diamonds. Uh oh. Uh, we got Creeper City. Get away from my diamonds! Okay, that was just one. I mean, a little bit disappointing, but yo, this is the best caving I've ever done in my entire life. Like, this is so fun. It's insane. And we got so much tough. Tough is one of my favorite blocks. It's so good. Oh, spider alert. More diamonds. I do feel like it's pretty easy to find diamonds. Not gonna lie. But I'm also not complaining about it. Okay, we got we got Zamberts incoming. Okay, it looks like looks like we escaped fairly well. Oh, we got more enemies right there. I need the spore blossoms. The spore blossoms are essential. Do you have to silk touch them? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Come on, okay, I got one in my sights. I'm gonna silk it. We got it, we got it. Okay, maybe we can fly around and silk a few more. Uh, we got not too many mobs. We got access to spore blossoms. So many people have been saying that I need to put spore blossoms inside of my forest, and I totally agree. We also have a geode right here. Love me some drip leaves. Can we get these with shears? Can anybody confirm that? Oh, we got a really accessible one right here. I think monsters can only spawn if there's zero light at the moment, which means that uh, sections like this are really, oh my goodness, they're so cute. 
perfect. I wish I had a bucket to bring you guys, but I've got a lot of axolotls. Wouldn't mind finding one of those huge copper veins. Yo, guys, tell me how hyped you have been for this update. This is so insane. Look at this cavern. Like, look what we could do with this base. Will these just grow infinitely down, too? I feel like that could be a little bit annoying. Uh, let's let's continue exploring. Okay, dropping creepers. That's uh, definitely not cool. Deep down in the caves. Okay, we we got to do some eating. We are currently at minus 40, so we're pretty close to the bottom of the world. I'd say that this is probably around the bottom, right? What's up, Enderman? At least you're not trying to kill me. Okay, I'm finding diamonds very often. They seem to be exposed pretty often and not too hard to find. That I mean, you're pretty lost, little fish. Yo, did I find one of these big copper veins? This is insane. This is so much copper. I'm loving it. I think it must be. Like, this is so much copper. It's actually insane. Yo, this is great. I'm gonna have to build with copper for the new builds. Looks like we can take this waterfall all the way up. Well, I mean, sort of. Okay, I guess this is where we are. Let's uh, let's continue exploring for a bit. Imagine an ice spikes biome, but with a huge mountain. This is a very big frozen ocean. I mean, it makes me want to go ice skating. We're also getting pretty far away. Yep, you can definitely lose yourself caving in this update. Oh my goodness. Here's another really big copper vein. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I think this seriously is one of those huge copper veins. Yeah, this one is pretty much eternal. Like, how much copper are we up to already? Several stacks. It's also getting to be nighttime, which is probably good if we're going to go caving. I didn't even intend for us to go caving. I want to see the big mountains, but uh, I mean, I also want copper, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. We're going to go caving, guys. I also don't mind the spore blossoms. We definitely need to go back and collect a few more of those. Okay, they must have upped the uh, spawn rate of copper because I feel like I'm finding so much when it was really really hard to find it before, and I already have stacks and stacks of the stuff. Is copper particularly prevalent in this type of biome? We're around the hunt for copper. Oh, this is kind of what I was talking about. This is an ice mountain. It's it's not very big, but it's cool. I believe we have found the ocean. It is so vast and endless. I have found land. It's not very exciting land, but uh, it's certainly land. You know, I'm regretting not collecting more of these things while I was there, but maybe we can farm them. Perhaps we can. Uh, we may actually be in explored territory at this point. I think we're kind of heading back to... Yeah, I believe this is old generation, so... Yo! Oh, we've actually explored all the way over to the 1.17 base. Okay, we're back home. We're going to be exploring in a different direction this time. I think we're just going straight ahead. I give you the ocean. <gasps> We found a mushroom biome? Yo, is this gonna be Venthia number two? It's uh, not a very mountainous mushroom biome, but hey, maybe, just maybe. I mean, it's huge though. So caving in mushroom biomes is famously safe, but I wonder if they've made the biomes vertical so that you actually run into danger down here, perhaps at a higher rate since they can't spawn up top. Well, it certainly feels safe right now. Does it still say that we're in a mushroom biome? does. This might be the best place to cave. We're pretty much caving in peaceful mode. Okay, I found myself another lush cave under the mushroom biome. It's not exactly huge, though. I wish it were bigger because I'm not finding too many of the, uh, the spore blossoms. Oh, wow. What a glacier we found over here. This is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for, except preferably closer to water. There's one of these, too. And maybe a little bit steeper, like more elevation. I don't know how difficult it's going to be to find what I'm looking for, but I feel like it's fun to explore either way. Here's another one of these caves. This one goes pretty deep, it looks. Oh, wow. Now, that looks like the end of the dinosaurs right there. I We'll take the copper, though. I mean, it's about 5,000 blocks from Venthia, but we have this river, and oh my goodness. Do we have an ocean over here as well? Oh, and we got this over here. We do have a few holes to fill, but that is fine. We got this huge bay. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely gonna have to fix the mountain right here where we have this cliff going into a cave, but just the way the whole thing is surrounded by water, this is like my dream location in Minecraft. We can even expand onto this area right here that's loading in. Oh, wait, no way. Dude, no way. I just went over to this birch forest and it has a woodland mansion. These are so crazy. I can't believe it. We might have to turn this woodland mansion into some kind of castle. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. Yo, this is my favorite location ever. Episode 61, we're gonna be starting up the 1.18 survival series, and it's gonna be right over here in this area. We got a woodland mansion to explore. We got this. I'm so excited, guys.
Look at all the flowers. It's so beautiful. I love Azure Bluettes. Not only that, right offshore, we've got this huge uninterrupted warm ocean, which I definitely think we want to do something with. That is insane. It's so huge. It's so uninterrupted. This is exactly what I want. This is insane. Guys, I'm in love with this update. Whoa, I didn't know this is what one of these looked like from below. That's insane. Okay, so now that I've found it, my dream location in Minecraft, we have this huge, vast, warm ocean, and obviously the woodland mansion, a giant birch forest, and our epic mountain. Let's just go ahead and build a nether portal over here. I mean, I guess for now we can just plop it down right down here. Okay, I'm back from my mining trip, and what unfortunately ended up happening is that my PC crashed when I closed out of OBS, my recording software, and it actually corrupted my entire world. But as you can see, we're still here in Ventia. What I ended up having to do is just rebooting the copy of the world that I made before 118. I then deleted the chunks again, so we still have the exact same landscape over here, and I went and did some more mining. So all should be good at this point. And now the thing I've really wanted to see, the thing I want to do is mine underneath Ventia to see what's going on. There's also like a whole ton of diamonds here that I still haven't gathered. Now the new update should have replaced all the bedrock down here with deep slate. That is insane. And so I guess we just need to continue mining, but I have a better idea. You see, what if we brought out the boom box? Okay, let's chug the fire resistance potion and just dig down. Maybe uh, we should get these diamonds out of the way as well. Oh, I can already hear some zombies. Dripstone, huh? Ooh, okay, I think we found a cave. I don't think we're gonna have to blow this up too much. Those are diamonds. Bye, guys. I think we got him. Okay, so here's the plan. I think we're still gonna blow this up. Fire in the hole! Okay, we should probably get out of here. You know what? We still have some fire resistance. Let's make another hole. We are at the bottom of the world. It did make a big hole. Okay. Skeleton and a geode. Okay, so we actually blew a hole right into a geode. That's super useful to have one. Now we can actually farm these crystals. I think what we have to do eventually is just dig out everything around all these spawner blocks, but I'll leave that as an exercise for future me. All right, let's actually see what we have down in this cave. This could be amazing. Okay, it looks like we have a lot of monsters is what we have. Try to light this place up. It looks like we have a huge dripstone cave down here, which is amazing. Since I've been looking to farm dripstone, I can just mine it over here. But ladies and gentlemen, we of course have to do a little bit of building today. It wouldn't be an Antler Boy episode without some building, and as you can see, I have laid out some plans, and potentially we might even be building another building next to here. Now, the unfortunate side of things is that this tree that I built so many episodes ago is kinda in the way, and I think I'm gonna keep it here because it's not totally in the way, as you can see. However, some of these branches might have to go, and we'll have to reshape it a little bit over the roof, but that should be fine. Now, let's get to some higher ground to actually be able to check this shape out. I guess here's going to be fine. Ooh. All right, as you can see, we got this pretty weird shape going on. We're going to have a tower right here, sort of this angled section to the building, and then one slightly less angled section. And I plan to extend out a little balcony down here, so we'll see exactly how that's going to fit in with the tree. I'm not sure how we're going to do this at all. But let me get the base of this thing up first, and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, progress is being made. As you can see, I've built the walls up a bit. We're going to have to smooth things out, like maybe transition it into the terrain somehow, because this is not gonna fly. I'm also planning on having a door like right here. So we're gonna have some kind of staircase, maybe going up from here all the way to there. I haven't really figured that out yet. But other than that, the walls are the correct height. We are gonna have to texture some stuff in and we have this little section right here, which I think fittingly goes right into this street. Then on the other side over here, I doubt we'll have any buildings over on this side, but it's just a road that leads over to the path that goes into Ventia through the mountain. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we have buildings over here by the roses? Let me know in the comments, but for now, I think this area over here is probably gonna be more important. So let me get things textured up here and we'll be right back building the rest of this house. Okay, the next portion is complete. I've added more of this tower over here. I think it's gonna be sort of layered, kind of like a wedding cake. We'll have it sort of go in here one layer and then one more. So it'll probably end up being about as tall as the tower behind there. But what I've had to do is really shave down this tree over here. As you can see, I've started working sort of on the balcony here and we're really cutting this tree down, but I think it'll be fine. All right, folks, I got something to admit. I got kind of carried away with this build. Well, I mean, I always say that. But this time, since we didn't have replay mod, I could 
couldn't just replay it and show you guys, so we're just gonna have to tour the house as it is, and as you can see, here we got it. I think you can definitely understand what I meant with the wedding cake at this point, how it sort of layers up, but I really love this design of house. And if we come down a little bit here, as you can see, we textured this into the lake. I think it looks beautiful. We still have the tree here, which I think is good. It looks very good from the square down there. But up close here, as you can see, we got this path going into this roadway, and then we got this little staircase up into the entrance to the house. And what's gonna be happening here is we're gonna have another building in kind of the same style right here. So we'll have this pathway going through here, and we'll have a similar tower to this right on the other side, and hopefully some kind of connecting beam. We are gonna have to move some of these roads, but that's not really a problem. This main road right here is gonna connect up to the road over here, so we'll probably have it going forward, curving this way. I honestly never get sick of this view. Let me know what view you think is the best in the kingdom here, but this is my absolute favorite with all the colors and the windmill and, of course, the castle. I also wanted to show you guys that I really love this view from right here, the fact that we kind of have a tower in this little space between the buildings. The tree, I think, helps make it fit in with all the nature as well. When we have a lot more of the trees built in here that I haven't had time for yet, I think it's going to be a lot better. But I think it's kind of important that you get to see it from the top here. We're going to have this road sort of curving around this building. I think what we could do, honestly, is just update the map and I can show you guys on there instead of having to dive down like this. Because the map we got right here, it's kind of old. It's not really updated. As you can see, there's nothing going on right here. Nothing going on behind here. Oh boy, we're going to have to extend this quite a bit later. Yep, we've built quite a bit since last time we updated this thing. Yeah, we got a bit to work on behind the mountain. That's for sure. Oh, we haven't even filled in this whole section. Let's update this. Yeah, that definitely makes a big difference. We've filled up a huge area here with the giant castle. We still need to do a lot of tree building, sort of generally everywhere. And right here is where we started building. So as you can see, we've got this little road going here, and it's going to kind of curve around here. So we have to build a similar building like this, but kind of opposite. Then I'll probably build some diagonal buildings going around here. So we'll have this sort of block surrounded by a bunch of other buildings, and I think that'll be really cool. In the end, I hope it'll feel like this isn't its separate own area. It just feels like the same town on the other side of this ridge. However, we do have some other business to attend to in this episode, and we did collect all these spore blossoms, and I think you guys know exactly where I want to put them. You see, we got our beautiful nether portal forest over here, and I want to put some of these on the bottoms of these branches because I don't think you unfortunately can put them underneath leaves. However, something like that should put a lot of particles in the area, and I don't know how many we actually want, so that already puts a whole ton of particles in here. Okay, it seems like the particle effect is kind of wearing off. There were a lot of them before, so maybe let's spam them around and see what happens. Okay, it's officially very particle-y around here. Honestly, I think I really like it. I think it's gonna look really cool at night. How far down do the particles extend? Like, do they actually go all the way down here? Oh, I guess they do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't quite get as much of the town built as I would have wanted to. However, we got plenty of time to build all that up, but in the next episode, episode 59, the one before the world tour, we are going to tackle the interior of this castle right here. I know a lot of you guys have been desperately waiting for this, and I've been super excited for it as well. Honestly, I think it's gonna be so fun to tackle this, because right now it is, uh, well, it's pretty empty in here. So I would definitely look forward to that. Unfortunately, at this point in time, I haven't downloaded the replay mod yet, but I will do that for the next episode so that we can get some amazing replays of some interiors of this castle. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for episode 58, and if you stayed all the way to the end, then you're the champ, and I appreciate your existence. And until we see each other next time, have a good one. Ow.